signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Janikowski will line up for the field goal try. No good. No good. That will bring us to the end of the second quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll take a break and be ready for the start of the second half in just a moment. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field and we're about to get the second half started. Graham's got it on the return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Jets haven't had a very productive drive in quite a while here, Phil. Do they need to switch things up to get this train rolling again? Absolutely. Switch it up. Switch up the play call. Show some different formations. Try to catch the defense by surprise. If you do that, that's going to greaten your chances of having success. Catch made by Marshall. The Jets just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Setting up now at the 45. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. First down at the 45. For about four. Ivory's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Jets approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. A tackle behind the line. I think, Jim, you know, when you got a close game like this, it's third and long on the offensive side, you got to be smart. You know, don't take a chance. If you take a chance and cause a turnover, then that could turn the game around big time. So I expect the quarterback here to be very conservative with his decision. Loss of five on the play. Third and 11. Going deep. The ball is charged loose. Just out of the half, and that drive can't be what the staff discussed at the break. The defense will need to rise up now to keep them in this game. Well, the one thing we can say, the offense has been consistent. They have been stinking it up all day long, and that was another example. That was a terrible drive by the offense. Going for it on fourth down. The Raiders' defense now is going to go nickel. Throws the pass. Pass is intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. It doesn't appear this defense is going to be any less superior in the second half than they were in the first. Well, Jim, they have everything. They got a good defensive line, good linebackers, good secondary, and an aggressive coach. What's that add up to? A really outstanding defense. down at the 42. Harris is there to make the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Carr 
Orton's going to take it from the gun. Another interception. Perhaps that interception will jolt this offense into action. They certainly need it now. Two and a half quarters in the books and still zero points to show. You can't get it all back at once, Jim. That's what you can't do on the offensive side. So go out there, feel good, try to have some confidence, execute some plays, and that'll take you down the field and give you a chance to score. First down at the 43. And now here's the toss. Ivory is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Wants to go deep. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Now, looking at third down. the ball out of his hands you start to get the sense Phil that they're trying to stick with this game plan offensively and it just hasn't worked for them for more than two quarters now this defense has them figured out the defense is all over everything so you got to change the sequence of play calls on the offensive side they have not done that today and that's why they're not having success Quigley will be called on now to punt the football. He's got a chance to return this one. That picks up seven. The Raiders' last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, Phil? Will they play it a little safer this time around? Oh, I don't think so. I think what you do on the offensive side, you stay aggressive. It's not a perfect game. There's going to be mistakes and penalties, and you got to learn to overcome that adversity. So go out there, let it go, and try to score points. No one's going to get him now. And in for the touchdown. At this point in the game, midway through the third, that touchdown has them on the brink of putting this game away. Man, they're, they're starting to put their mark on this game, Jim, and you just got to be careful. Don't let it get away from you right here. Find a way to go out there and score on the offensive side and get back into this football game. The Raiders line up now for the point after. And the extra point is good. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Graham's got it. right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Raiders' defense is having a field day so far. They've been ready for just about anything. The offense has tried. A very impressive display here, partner. Jim, they are whooping tail on the defensive side. That's the cleanest way I can say it. They have been fun to watch, dominating physically, and they got a shutout going. Ivory, the lone setback this time. First down at the 30. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. 
That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. It's second down, about two and a half minutes to go here in quarter number three. The Jets step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. Tough situation you found yourself in. Third and long, you're losing the football game. There are not many plays here that are going to pick up the first down. So be careful here. Don't be too aggressive. If you're too aggressive, you will make a mistake. Loss of a couple that time. It'll be third down. Got drilled as he throws it. The Jets really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third and long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. They bring back out the offense to go for it. The Jets take it from the 28. The Jets turn the ball over on downs. Marshall's really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Pro Marty's been able to rally this defense around him, yet here in the third quarter, despite what I'm certain was a very heated discussion in the locker room at halftime. I, I'm sure it was, and what you do is the best player on the defensive side in, in situations like this. Just be a leader. Go out there and show the rest of the guys how to get the job done. Are you surprised they played this poorly to this point? I am, because look, every week they usually bring it. Today, they have been off from the start. The Raiders take it from the 28. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Now inside the 30 at the 29. Second down and 11. Incomplete as he was looking short. Well, Jim Nance, even you could coach a team in a situation like this. You're winning big as third and long. You know what you do? You hand the football off and you punt the football. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Looking across the middle. That incompletion is going to bring us to a very quick fourth down. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The coach is going to go for it. The Raiders at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. The Raiders have it at the 29. Rod oh, the Raiders. Touchdown. I wonder what the strategy is, Phil, with more than a quarter to go because that last score puts this game virtually out of reach. Well, I know this. The strategy on the losing side is show some courage and show some toughness. Let's change what's gone on here so far. It's not too late. It's getting tough, but it's not too late. We can find a way to win this game. The Raiders for the point after. Extra point was good. 
The Jets will now be 